All right, here I'm gonna explain how to connect your mixer, we'll have an 802 small little mixer, Behringer, to your Pro Tools 10. Um, basically it's the I/O I settings issue. Um, really if you have Asia and all that installed already, it should read automatically almost. But sometimes it doesn't, in my case it didn't. I had to battle quite a while to connect it for about a night. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, your settings, your settings should be like this. Um, let me show you. I already have a program that is last used, but at the beginning, I didn't know which one to choose because there's a lot of them. Uh, I chose at the end. I found out that Stereo Mix was the one that worked for me. So I just clicked Stereo Mix. Let me see how it works here. And then just made up a new song, Untitled, whatever. Um, let's save. Let me see how it pops up. Alright. You need to go to Setup. I don't know. Okay, and this is how they came out. This is how your settings should be in order to play live instruments into the Pro Tools. So your input should read in at rear panel, black, and then have a check mark. And then this, you, you, you need to change this from stereo, change it to mono. Um, if you don't do that, you will have a, a sound a uh, little clicking sound all over the recording um, and then make sure you click with the pencil on M on the one so you have sound going into to the mono and then down here just leave that alone it should be LR CLF just leave that alone it usually does it by itself now an output this is how it's going to be on default it should look like this HC audio input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then they should all be checked, and they should all be on their stereo format. That's the sound you're going to get back. And then all these four should be looking like this. Your buses, they should look like this on their default too. Oh, let me show you the bottom of output, sorry. Output is the bottom. Those settings should be like that, leave them alone. And that's about it. All these should be like that. Your buzz should be like this. Bam. All those are checked for some reason, just leave those alone. All the way to 168. The only ones you use are the top ones. And the, these four should be like that. Settings should be like that. If you leave auditions, you could change that to none, no output, it'll matter. I left it at none. Insert should be looking like that. Sometimes there's three, four, three and four down here. They're also checked with stereo, leave them like that alone. Um, mic preamps, there's nothing, so leave that alone. HD, whatever, delay, nothing there, so. Well, this is how your shading should be looking. So you can have play live sound. Um, if you have them like that, you should be able to get sound already. Oh, and then, um, let me see. The easiest way to connect your mixer is connecting from RCAs to the back to the rear of the computer. Um, it goes to the to the aux, aux, auxiliary um, panel in the back. From your mixer to this to the black auxiliary one, that'll be your input to get sound to into the computer. Um, to do the to do the um, to get sound back from the computer, connect it right where your speakers normally go. From your speakers, in my case, it's the green one. You, from the green one. To the speakers of the or monitors that you are using in the RCA in the back, and then you should be getting the correct sound and IL settings. 
Um, one last thing, your you should have Asia for all. Make sure these settings are as follows, so you can be getting sound in and out. You should have this one checked, line in at rear, and then in the bottom to get sound out, you should just have this one check. In my case, it's a real tech HD audio output, so that's the one I'll use for audio out, and this is what I use to get the sound into the computer. And these I left alone, didn't mess with them. Uh, sometimes when you put allow pull off mode, um, it, it, it did also work. It might work better. Um, you could leave it checked or unchecked. Um, see what settings work best for you. And there.